Okay, let's take another problem on direct proportion. The cost of seven shirts of particular brand which does not offer any discounts is rupees four ninety. Find the cost of three eight twelve nineteen shirts. Okay. Solution. Now what we are told is that the cost of seven shirts is equal to four hundred and ninety. Right? And the manufacturer does not offer any discount. So the number of shirts and the cost. So basically if there are no discounts given irrespective of the number of shirts that you buy then the cost and the number of shirts should be directly proportional right so if the cost of seven shirts is 490 what is the cost of 3 8 12 and 19 shirts okay Let's say this is x1, x2, x3 and x4. Right? Why? Because we know that there are no discounts. So the cost has to increase proportionately with the increase or decrease in the number of shirts. Now we know if two items are directly proportional then x upon y is equal to x1 upon y1. Or we can say that 7 upon 490 is equal to 3 upon x. Right? Now if you transpose all these things. So what do you get? You get 7x which means you multiply this by this and multiply this by this is equal to 490 into 3 dividing both the sides by 7 this goes off 7 7 is 49 70 so 210 so x1 is equal to 210 similarly 7 upon 490 is equal to 8 upon x2 This is again 1 by 70 or x2 multiplying this by this and this by this is equal to 8 into 70 is equal to 560. Okay. So 7 by 490 can also be written as 1 upon 70 is equal to 12 upon x3. Cross multiplying we get x3 is equal to 840. Again, 1 by 70 is equal to 19 upon x4. Cross multiplying, 1 into x4 is equal to 19 into 70 or x4 is equal to 0, 133. So x4 is equal to 1330 and this is equal to 840. So by putting in the proportions, we have been able to calculate the missing values.